welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new episode of Mega Championship Wrestling. I'm Adam. I'm the Fat Jedi. Uh, I'm Yikes. And once again, this is another round one day of the One Shot at Glory oh. tournament. But tonight's main event is going to be Zop Gaming Championship. Kazan defending against Zane and Retsu Kayo. What the? Rebecca just spares Amy. The... Uh -huh. Why did I say security it's Luca? Issues. Well, we're so used to Rebecca doing I, it. I, I know. Sorry. You know, to be totally honest with you, I'm uh, I'm on Luca's side no matter what it is, because Crybaby Amy Trail probably deserves it. I. The now hell look at just that. Happened. She took it way too far. She took it. She could have ended that. Attack. She could have. She could have ended that. She was well speared from that. behind. What Rude. are you talking about? She honestly, just came through honestly, the door. She overreacted, and I am disgusted by her actions. Uh, someone's gonna have to do something about that. Yeah, I expect her to come out with a formal apology. Uh, I, I expect Luca to be apologizing for Absolutely that. Absolutely not. That is championship behavior. She attacked her. Anyway, anyway, the, we have a it. strong man a qualifying match here. He's strong. Francis the Diamond taking on Jacob. <laughs> so it'll be an awesome match then. Because both of these competitors the are contest. hungry. It's Very hungry. Francis still can't see out of those glasses, but Hollywood good on him. <laughs> Don't understand him. He has a certain uh, a flair to him when he wrestles, and it's Francis, it's just unmatched, the honestly. He's really a strong man championship. Absolutely. And I mean that boa. Woo! It's gorgeous. It does make the ladies go woo. Oh, so does Budweiser. That doesn't mean much. <laughs> <laughs> Little Patron Pape. <laughs> I guarantee you get some woo. Yeah, it'll happen. Uh, right, right before woo mirror. Girls. <laughs> mirror. Mirror. No, you mirror. <laughs> mirror. I'm not mirror. I don't mirror. <laughs> Why not? This is America. It is America. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was America. Well, tonight we will be hearing bells at the end of each match. And his Out and comes the New York camper's Lady nightmare Lady himself, Jacob. Seventy-four pounds. The monster. He is a Jacob. bit of a monster. The tracksuit warrior Jacob. It kind Listen, of he's got a groundskeeper's job. He just came straight from it, you know. <laughs> he's got to make Those bills. Those are car <laughs> That's expensive. Yeah, I wouldn't wrestle in them. They're heavy. And that, it, it holds him back just enough. Right. It really makes you uncomfortable the entire time that you're wrestling. I think that's a great move. It's in case somebody bites. Yeah. Wait, he doesn't face Arthur that often, does he? <laughs> you know, sparring. There, there, there's a lot of sparring. Either way. Oh. Oh. Diamond. Oh. I mean. Immediately. Uh, uh, Diamond's been watching Brutus' match, apparently. And Jacob kicks right out. You never hit the monster first. That's the rule. No, it, if you do, you better hope he doesn't get up. So Francis may be in a bit of a pickle. The, the monster got back up, so. You helped the monster back up. On the rack. Oh! Boom! Huge knee. One, two. Got that shoulder up. Yeah, strongman matches are just known for power hitting immediately. Oh, oh, oh. Busted open. In, it's so early in this match. It's the gloves. Oh, turned think, over by Francis. I think it's the fist behind the gloves, but, you know. Yeah, you know, maybe. The power. Francis gets him up. Nope. Up again. on the rack again. Here again. we go. Oh, nearly taking it off. Kind of slow on One, the move with the ref again. Two, three. Oh, man, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Night, night, Francis. 
the crowd asking for one more time and Jacob not giving it yeah, to see, them. See, the man is tired. He just got off second shift. Comes out, immediately gets like choke slammed into the into the mat, takes him off. No, he I wants didn't to go realize home. there was second shift for landscapers. It's, it, it's a big golf course. Oh, okay. Gophers, you know. Yeah. Campers. All over the place. They've got a really bad camping problem. Yeah. yeah. There you the go. Second knee broke out. Did the damage. Francis takes and just takes a break. Here is your winner, the Sleep I, 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 I think I think he's Jacob. up and moving. Uh, you know, he rolled out of the ring. It's good enough. Under his own power, mostly under his own power. To, mostly, mostly. Congratulations, Jacob. Moving on. It's a good sign to see that the uh, the ref is still standing, though. <laughs> yes, we're always concerned about the ref. <laughs> All right, it's time to start our first one shot at glory match. Oh, holy moly! <sighs> yeah, I, I'm just it's striker. Uh, okay. He's uh he's been out. He, he came out for the uh, Zap Mini Championship not that long ago. And that, that's his debut. That was a bad mistake on his part. But the Lama has put him into the the tournament. Uh, of course he has. Uh, you know, judging Everybody by his attire, a shot. Well, I, yeah, I wonder absolutely. why. Everyone deserves one shot at glory. Pulse. Wait, what? what? Who? Because, you know, whoever wins this tournament walks away at the end as the sole winner gets to face the OCW world champion at Omega Mania. Uncle Jabba? In the main event. A what? Uncle Jabba? No, Uncle Freddy. Uncle Jabba? He's not a job. Holy Billy Wrestles is the champion. No, 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 no. Speaking of champions, out comes the hands. Former strongman champion. Dominant strongman champion. That was under different rules at the time, though. He was first to knock out. That was when it was to knock out. And he does what Mama done told him. He that is going to knock real you out. Real wrestling. That really wasn't wrestling. That was... People punching each other just in the that face. Was, that was, it was real wrestling. No, nah, come on. It was more than that. People were put through tables. Rings were That's broken. True. Dreams Whatever and spines took. were shattered. Souls were ripped. <laughs> wait, what? Holes were ripped. <laughs> yeah, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Arthur was in the tournament for a while, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you land wrong on a table. It'll uh, take you out. Take a pole the wrong way. What? Woo! Striker, the hands going at it. Tonight. A little bit of a size advantage. Oh! Quick clothesline to start it off. Another clothesline. Stiff arm. Oh. You don't see it very often. A left arm clothesline like that. Keeps him off balance. It's like southpaw boxing. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh! Right to the gut and steps oh. through. Woof. Striker, uh, not, not doing too much. He, he, just as I back. say that, he finally gets a little O on. Gives the heads a little chin music. Chance had enough. Yep. Showing him the how to throw the hands. Oh! oh! The hands flexing on him already. Him with that strong arm clothesline again, picks him up by the chin. Off the ropes, striker is uh, straight out over the ropes. Yeah, he's not looking too good out here. N no. Up by the ears, it's the hand got planned for him. Well, it's more of a helmet than the ears. Oh! Smashes his back on the linoleum. There's almost no padding under there. I believe he tried to split the uprights there for a second. He's the, the hands. What what you doing, man? Oh! Ow! I, he's wearing a helmet. Yeah, still? but that's not exactly a crash helmet. It's he's still wearing a helmet, even if it's a leather helmet. 
Oh, see, De Gea just tried, tried to help him take that off there real quick. It's stuck. The hand making I'm a sure show of it tonight. He just wedged it onto his head by smashing it into a pole. Well, he felt bad. He's trying to help him out. Big bro bump in the center. Striker finally wakes up. The hand's taking a moment on the ropes. Oh, oh no. Oh! Right to the sternum. Spring stomp. Striker going after that same spot. It's a smart move. If you can't breathe, you can't win. Oh! oh. Where did that come from? Oh! Okay, Striker. What up, dude? Oh! Striker appears to have finally woken up and shown up to the oh. match. Oh! Stone hand. Up on the shoulders. What is what is he planning here? Just a quick Just drop. Throws him on the ground, basically. Lift him over. Oh, oh, oh! A submission. What? From Striker. Wow. Okay. From the hands. Uh, yes, that 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 Striker's in the submission. I know they look a lot alike, <laughs> but you know, right, it's I, the Mohawks. I have a problem with. My sight's weird, man. I, uh, I can't see anything. I, I, I understand. Oh, Striker with a quick snap kick. Smack in the head. What? Oh. Smack in the head of the hands. What is that? Trying to choke him right out. Change of tactics from both competitors. The hands ain't having it. Just pummels those goggles you right into his head. Just go back to what was working for him. Oh, and he does. Boom. Gives him the quit playing. Gives oh. him the quit playing again. Oh, God. No, not a, th a third oh. one. Um, Get a little skimmity pat. It's not knocked out anymore. <laughs> one, I, I, two, three. I, I, I think he yeah. is knocked out. I yeah. think he is. He's yeah. ragdolled. Oh, 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 he's twitching. Two would have done it. Third insured. <laughs> he's twitching. He's twitching. But, I mean, after that, he hit him right in the ear. Who hit somebody in the ear? Took away cauliflower ear, and that's no joke. Boom, boom. boom. And one more. Boom, boom. boom. Skiddly pap. Yep. Oh. Skibbity pap, and Striker takes a nap. Yeah. Here is your winner. Congratulations to Hands. Moving on. We'll see him in a couple of weeks as round two kicks off. He'll ice those knuckles, man. Of the... One shot at glory. Home oh. tournament. You know, corporate really kind of hates that they you love guys it. jumped on that. It, they listen, love it. the voice it, of the shadowy corporate board approves. I he's on it. And they can't. They can't really do too much because the, he's supporting the tournament. The one shot at glory. Oh. Home tournament. <laughs> Ah, uh, here's another one shot at glory. Oh. Tournament match. <laughs> With Baki, he's... Baki Hanma. He knows his fair share, fair share of holes, let me tell you. And tournaments. <laughs> and tournaments about holes. Yeah. Frequent victim of the high ankle sprain. Uh, absolutely. It has he's done him in he's, a multitude of times. He's feeling healthy. He's in the tournament. He's looking to... Uh, Get his the one shot at glory, oh. and that way he can uh, take on Uncle Freddy, an old adversary of his, City. an old friend Playing of his. He's kind of personal. Yeah, Uncle Bucky. Freddy used to run with the anime boys. Exactly. But uh, notice a few of them have gone missing of late. Don't know what the board did with them. I'm not saying yeah. that they were sent on a permanent vacation somewhere, but... Haven't really They're, seen a few of them about lately. Anybody uh, yeah. heard from Kirito? How's he doing? We They're haven't in uh, further development. It's been camps. like two That's years. That's where they are. They're in further development camps to hone their skills. Two years. Further now. development. Why does that sound like political re-education to me? No. Whoa. Further. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no. No. Just further development camps. Mandatory. He's in the independent scene. It's because of the the contracts that they signed. Yes. They 
very specifically a Omega Corp and signed under uh, duress. Sooner or later, you know, they could pop out of nowhere and just attack. Yeah, I mean, they are anime classically trained, but, you know. You know. That sir is racist just because they are Japanese does not mean and they ambush. Representing Mustache Mountain from <laughs> the other side. Anyway, Miss Village Mafia's own in Eric Reed. The epic pounds. return of the biggest Three. gnome. Ever since the, they... Full team, full brotherhood, brought came Disgusting. came to Nua. Disgusting group of men, to be totally they honest. Felt that they felt that Omega Corp had been overlooking them, so they've uh, they've signed with. Honestly, with no Nua. better than halflings. Whoa! Wow! 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 Holy. The bigotry coming from from my uh, from the corporate <laughs> from my mouthpiece. Uh, esteemed colleague over yeah. here. Yeah, gnomes are just as bad as halflings. Wow. Traitors. Oh, wow. No loyalty. I'm surprised. Wow. You know what? I bet they'd stab their own mutter in the back. <gasps> they would never do anything to mutter. They'd stab your mutter in the back. I yeah. don't trust them. <laughs> I don't trust them. It's weird when they uh, when they sided with Omega. You, you were all about it. Eric with the sides advantage. Does not seem to be doing him any good right no, at the moment. No, I mean, Baki is... Takes a, him to the mat. Is no to him, being Baki. able to take down people much bigger than him. Trains with Arthur for that. <laughs> Gets him by the hair. Arthur calls it the bad dragon training. Baki just... You gotta find your Humbling, limits. Eric. You have to know what too much is before you know what enough is. Exactly. Uh, Baki just using the gnome as a punching bag. And bow. Wow. Okay. Baki is. Uh, Gives him a little mutoy there and sends him to the mat. The training here. That's what happens when you have the backing of a, uh, of a weak organization like Nua. In for the pin. I mean, Baki has no backing. Exactly. It's just Bucky. Bucky is his backing. Yeah. And please, exactly. let's not bring his father to the ring, for the love of God. No, no, no. Yujiro is off doing his own thing for right. <laughs> Bucky is treating this entire company as a training. And yeah, this is one a totally unanswered barrage of punishment. Eric, able Eric, to just still here for the paycheck tonight. I, Eric, I wake up, know. man. What's going on? On really the ropes. showing up for the newer boys, that's for sure. Off the ropes. Boo-hoo! And the stomp. Baki still continuing. Sent on. Not stopping at all. Nua just, uh... Eric might have been off for tonight. He may, he may not have uh, been planning on this. I... I, I, I don't know. It's, he's he's, he's, he's he acting had a plan. like he's not even here. He's woozy on his feet at this point. He had a plan, and he... He got into the goat banger. That would explain things, but why he, he would have at least tried to mount Baki by this point if that were true. He didn't have enough goat banger. Apparently. He could use some drunk strength right about now. Holy crap, he blocked something. Nope, nope. No. Uh, uh, well, he tried it. At least it means he's kind of present he's here. Mostly he here. remember that he's in the match. That's good. Last oh, I knew. Bucky just oh, feet to head. bending him. Oh. And then the plant. Bucky picks up Eric. He, Bucky's ending this. Like, er, er, no. Eric. No. Like, hit him with a chair or something. Hit him with a ref. Oh. Eric it, trying to fight out. He's not done yet. Body to body. Soul to soul. Nope. Maki snaps him around. Here we go again. Off the rope. Boom. And the stomp. <laughs> Sets. Maki's done. But yeah, Maki's done playing at this point. Touch the head. Ooh. Eric, I'm sorry, Close buddy. The pin. One. One. Two, three, 
I mean, I'd say congratulations, Bucky, but this would be like this was handed to you on a silver platter. Absolutely. No idea what's going on with Eric Reeves. We're gonna have to uh, check in with Biff about that later. Totally non-responsive. This is not the explosive gnome that we've seen before. Dominant no powerhouse. Better he, than a halfling. Wow. I judging on this performance tonight, where he barely showed up, I wouldn't even scale him to a kender, my man. I'm oh. gonna back you on this. But oh. at least halflings show up with food. Eric barely showed the hell up, so. We saw showing from Miss Village Mafia tonight. Absolutely. Come to the next side. I'll reach out. I'll reach no, out I'm, to I'm, Biff. I'm good on the fence. I'm good on the fence. I'll reach out I to gotta, Biff and see what, what he's got to say about this. And uh, hopefully, you know, may, maybe, maybe Eric's got a, a concussion off that first hit. I mean, so, something might have happened, but he. <laughs> Just stood there and took it like he was an Arthur's training partner contest. or something. You know, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, time for a women's ring. match a qualifier for right. Luca's Jury. Superior Sarah. Women's Championship. Out comes North Donna Ireland. Dusk, Jury. escorted Donna. in by her sister. It's kind of weird that uh, ever since rebecca lost we haven't seen her recently it's almost like omega fired her or something uh, well, i don't know you'd have to direct that to my right here because uh I, I got nothing on that i'm just any excited word to see on the where rebecca is yikes i believe she is in training oh okay to step up her game and be able to put Crybaby Amy Cho oh, oh, in of course. place. Crybaby Amy From Cho. Out comes Wildcat. I don't even know why Rebecca would have a beef with Amy Cho at this point. She doesn't. She's got stripped of the belt. Yeah. Because yeah. She's, <laughs> she's got nothing unless she's, she's like just mean girl in it out the there. She's getting, a, getting attacked by Luca. Yeah. And over, now, I mean, over I hope whatever. More follow suit. I hope more people follow suit and just show her. What it's like disrespect? Some, yeah, show her some disrespect because she's just a crybaby. She hasn't. Uh, the only thing that she has said about having it, uh, having the uh, women's women's championship dissolved, is uh, that exact quote. I guess it's time to to go superior. There you go. And then she got a. Then she gets attacked at the beginning of tonight's match. Yeah. Well, I mean, tonight's show. She deserved it. I don't think so. She doesn't deserve that. Talk. She get hit. Wow. Wow. Anyway, this is this is a qualifying match to see who will face Luca at One Shot at Glory. Hole. Hole. Tournament. For the women's, it's the Superior Women's Championship. Vampire versus Jungle Cat. Eastern European Jungle Cat. <laughs> Either way, there are a lot of people paying Snake close eyes. attention to this match. You know what I mean, wink, wink, not touch. <laughs> James and Earl out there. I mean, James and Jimmy. They love it. Quick drop kick from Wildcat. Picks Donna back up. Takes Donna to the corner. Hey guys. Donna's able to get out of there. That's not bad. Oh. Apparently didn't appreciate being tried to put in the corner. Yeah, well, Wildcat did not appreciate getting slapped. Apparently not. Oh, Ooh, she wound it up. Yeah, Wildcat's a bit of a beast. Rust. Man. Yeah. She is a brawler. Strong like bear. Hey, guys, again. I thought she was going to throw her. That Wildcat was going to throw Donna over the, the turnbuckles. Could have. Oh, tossed by the head. 
Sarah Dusk outside, not really impressed with the crowd addressing somebody in the front row. Yeah. What did they do? Ooh. Spinning elbow continues just to literally kick her in the head. What? Donna with a charge. Trying Donna to take trying back to over. Probably not the best time to talk smack to the crowd. No. But Got the tiger by the tail, but there's teeth on the other end. Know what I'm saying? Ask Dopo Orochi about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, spikes her head into the knee. Donna trying to take momentum of this oh, match. Wildcat is well, said no. No, no, no. Belly to belly. Boom. <laughs> Me Picks next. Stack up. Grabs a head, quick drop kick from Wildcat. Goes and to the top. Man, that's just oh, rude. She just kicked the girls. Oh! High flying people's elbow off the top rope across the ring. Locks the head, tucks the leg. Oh, no, Donna reverses. reverses. Wow. How she has the power and, and no, no idea. No, she Another just belly to lucky. belly. Just a lucky. Survival move. You know, sometimes survival moves can help, but sometimes it just helps sustain the pain yeah. into the corner. Make the inevitable happen. Wildcat pulls her out. Simple drop to the top rope. Are we going to see another elbow drop? Oh! Drops the leg instead. That Hogan is, is proud. Huge. Huge leg drop. Oh, twists her up. Stretching the knees. Working the hammies. Uh-oh. -uh. This could not be good for Donna Dusk. Taking nope. down arm bar. Interesting. Uh, Donna's not going for the ropes? That's kind of weird. Well, fights her way out of it. Yeah, but that, that's damage to the, to the shoulder. Surprise Wildcat didn't just plant her. She likes to show off how, the, what she can do. How much pain she play, can cause a person. Play with her food. Kind yeah. of. Why she's a cat. I, fair. All right. Fair enough. This sick, but fair enough. Goes there for the go. arm bar again. Put herself between the ropes and her. Rope break. What? Legs. Ah, where? Legs Donna kicked underneath. Dust. Yeah, yep. I saw kicked it. Kicked up under the rope. Oh! Wildcat solves the issue with the ropes. Dumps Donna up and over. Hiding behind the referee. She's trying to Sp talk smack to the ref right now, actually. Telling them to count slower than normal. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone could physically do that. Donna literally just smacking the taste out of Wildcat's mouth. Finally, Wildcat with a hip toss. Taken back over in this match. I mean, really, I don't think she's ever lost control, really. As you were saying... It's okay. Tis but a scratch. Tis but a scratch. I mean, just the damage that's been done oh, to Donna. Donna, Donna, Donna with an arm bar. Trying to use Wildcat's move against her. Causing some serious shoulder damage. So Wildcat I'm uses say, the other arm. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely won that particular joust. And goes for a simple arm bar. Donna really struggling. No, yeah, that's it. Get out of couldn't fake, find a way out Wildcat of that Wildcat just one. had enough. Started picking her apart piece by piece. I mean, she she had her number from the get-go. Wildcat came in here just with a different mindset. Absolutely. Work the legs. Work the arms. Work the body until you just can't work it no more. And then you work it some more. <laughs> and then locks in the very simple arm bar and just stretches her out. Donna had Here enough. Here is your winner, 
I think at that point, almost any submission would have worked. It, yeah. Just say uncle. <laughs> Congratulations, Wildcat. Moving on. All right, we got a special one now. Uh, I don't have names right here. Uh, okay. I, I don't know who this is. Who is? Until the, the graphics come up. It's Duke Percy. Okay. One fall. Sorry, uh, are you did, did, did we you? don't need the janitor. Yeah. What is this, a janitor? He's missing a sleeve. The beer guy? Dude, it, are you friends with Tony Leone? How'd you get in here, security? Is he even supposed to be in here? All right, I gotta, he I gotta he ask, is? Can, can the interns get us some information or something? But in, in a... Is this part of the tournament? Yeah, this is a one-shot at glory. Oh. Tournament match. What? Sir, you need to leave. Get We need the competitor yeah. out here. Why did he get a graphic? So apparently, he's supposed to be here. Who the hell is this guy? All right, all right. Well, I, I don't even know who his opponent is going to be tonight. Awful quiet in the front row. Yeah, it, we haven't... Earl's been missing for like two weeks now. It's weird. Uh, uh, hold up. He's not missing. No, he's from not. New Hampshire. And he's from New Hampshire. Who would have thought? That explains the drinking. Um, uh, that explains man. the outfit, too. Earl, a lot more wiry than I, I imagined. Would. I guess it's hard to tell under all the flannel, but. Yeah. <laughs> And when, you're a, when your diet consists of Budweiser and peanut butter sandwiches, you don't... Uh, you don't really put on a lot of weight. Nope. Yeah, I thought it was the meth. But I guess, yeah, that would that, do it, too. That, that no, too. the meth makes him go to work. Oh, right, right, right. I, so... I, I, I'm, sorry, I'm getting... Okay, thanks. Welcome. I'm getting word that Duke Percy is actually a company beer guy. That explains the beef. But how did these two idiots get into this tournament? They're not even know. wrestlers. Earl is a dude from the row. Are these our? Is this like our doink? Like, like our, our joke match? To like, well, I, I guess so. I mean, Earl's a clown, but look at that kick. Oh no, Earl's been training. Earl's been training for quite a while. Twenty ounce curls do not count. No, not those. In ring training. Bringing him in the ring doesn't make it any better. I, I don't care what Stone Cold told you. <laughs> That's after the match. Percy giving Earl a little chin music. And a ride. Percy, don't don't flex that. You are showing your back. He's already sh like shimmering. I know. Sweat. His hair is already soaked. He did. He came out with dry hair. A hundred percent. Percy on the ropes. Oh, Earl he got kicked down. off. See, Earl's got the moves. He knows what he's doing. Working in the crowd, they are his people, literally. They, yeah, quite literally. They are absolutely cheering for, oh. for Earl out there. How much do you want to bet this spawned over beer prices? Probably. Into the stairs. Remember, er, Earl has the uh, free beer for life. <laughs> Biff gave that to him. Probably driving Percy broke. Probably. He's only allowed uh, to the free beer for life, though, is uh, six an hour. Oh! Oh! One, two. Earl thought he had yeah. him. He thought he had him. Wow. 
You don't keep the beer guy down. Earl, Earl's been paying Spear. close attention to wrestling for a while now. One, two, three. And that's it. Earl gets his beer. Mother of no God. More and, he sass. Moves, and he moves on in the tournament. He moves to round two. Where he might have to face a real wrestler. Yeah. Oh, well, no. I mean, he was pretty good at ambushing Matsuda Lee a while back there. So, I mean, he has, quote, unquote, faced a real wrestler, even if he just kind of stomped him in the, in the back room yeah. and moved along. But Yeah, he showed him. I don't know. Earl showed a little technique there. He shows he knows what he's doing. Here's now he just winner. needs to fight somebody who actually knows what they're doing. Right. Send him Brutus. That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm mean. Do a handicap, Brutus, and yikes. So... The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the club from Cardiff, Wales. Weighing in at 329 pounds. Hey, it's Porter, Porter the Bad Clown. Bad Clown. You know, I never realized he was Welsh. I guess yeah. now I understand why I could never understand what the hell he was talking about or saying. I just thought it was an accent thing. I didn't realize he was actually speaking Welsh. It yeah, it, it I, explains uh, the sluice of continents and spittle. <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the? Uh, yeah, I, was, right. I just have to have creepy or killer around tons. to translate to me. That that explains so much now. I feel I bad. Kinda, I was going to say, I kind of feel bad. Yeah, my bad, man. Why he's so bad? And it's why he's a bad clown. Because Lord knows you don't want to disrespect the clowns. So mm. Show up at the gas station while you're trying to read a Stephen King book. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> uh, I thought it was getting a little chilly in here. Out comes a Vec for the from Washington, D.C. by way of Quebec. Where in Quebec? He just responds, Quebec. Yeah. Don't question his froggy style. Style. He's good friends with Snow, I'm told. God. <laughs> but he was the informer. That's why he's <laughs> now wrestling for us. <laughs> this is his uh, <laughs> in protective custody. Yes. By being a wrestler now. Yeah. That, 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 that is how he leaky boom him down. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Vex smoothly evading the clown. Taking the big man down early. Just working oh, the big man. Off the second. Vex giving it everything he's got. Dragon leg screw. What do you mean? You got to try to keep the clown feet. down. You don't want to be down with the clown. Porter finally starting some big offense here. He's got him in the corner. Not much room to maneuver. Oh. oh, that is a big boot to the face. Oh. Ooh. Porter taking out a lot of his frustrations like right now. Hit with a telephone pole. All Breaking right, yeah, out. now now he's just now, now he's just getting some catharsis done here. He's just working out his frustrations. Spikes him in the oh. corner, busts him open on the Hit turnbuckle, sets so him hard. up. Just puts him in that corner so hard. That, that uncalled for, unnecessary. Almost drops him on the ref. Well, the ref should have been out of the way. That ain't fair. Vic that drags a leg. Trying to mount a comeback here. Knee to the face. I mean, that's a good way to start. Uh, the problem is, Avec is going to be affected by blood loss at some point. This is true. 
That's what the bandana's for. Not going to collect at all because it's pouring down now. Porter rolls him back to his feet. Porter Spikes gets Spikes that knee. Ow. You could, you could crack your kneecap there. Well, he's wearing knee pads. He's fine. Okay. <laughs> No, Avec up and over, takes out the leg. It slides like ice right over the, uh, the clown. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Again, it's a good thing he's wearing knee pads. Off the second high, flying. Oh, he didn't catch the, the knee. I thought he might have for a second there. No, Porter didn't have enough time to react. Big boots to the face. Avec trying desperately to take control of this match. Avec with some ice cold moves. Did he cut his eye? Yeah, he got busted open on the well, turnbuckle yeah, early know. on. I thought that was like his... Oh, and Porter just targeting that spot. Oh! oh. It's like Avec can't see out his left eye right now. Oh, he can't. It's just red. Yeah, Avec is definitely seeing Tweety Birds right about now. Porter backing way off. Calls him to get up. Ref might want to get the F out of the way. Oop, he Very missed it. high action there. Yeah, right. There, he nails it. Goes for One, the pin. two, no. Oh my God. Ah, <sighs> I mean, points for tenacity, my man. Debuff on wisdom. Crowd is asking them to fight forever. I don't think that's physically possible. Avec will not last forever. I give him about another minute max. Yeah, unless he takes over here. Quick kicks. Gets the clown down. Just keeps kicking the chest. I mean, work in where the finesse arm. does not work, force often will. Spear! Spear! Goes for the pin. I mean, his head's under one, the rope. One, two. Yeah, just a twofer. Ref is inconsistent with his uh, rope calls. As always, big knee to the clown's face. Quick to his feet, though. Oh. Catches him with that elbow. They intercepted him with it. Beck was trying to go for the ropes and instead he got an elbow to the side of the head. Porter back in control, just beating him into the corner. Oh. Oh! Picks him up and tosses him backwards. Porter gets him to his feet. Oh, uh oh. Hooks Wham. the ramp. Porter backing off again. Oh, oh he's winding up. up this time. Boom! Boom. Yeah, he turned him inside out. That, that, that's going to do it, One, I think. Two, three. Yeah, do it. Porter walking Ooh. away with the win for the crew. Moving on in the tournament. Hitting round two. Vec tried to throw him a little bit of trouble. Great cool. camera shot. Good. Great uh, cutaway. Even better. There we go. By this point, he was pretty much beat burger. Vec did try to mount some offense. Yeah. Wasn't a total blowout, but, yep. Congratulations, Porter. You creepy you. motherfucker. You were the creepiest of the clowns. Oh my god. It's the main event. Main, main. Even. Nips for the Zap Gaming Championship. The following contest is a triple threat match. Retsu is still out rocking the ponytail. You know, it, it's his signature. Champion. 
and the angry eyebrows. I st- yeah, I the mean, talk about independently China. scornful eyebrows. Peter Capaldi is jealous of asking him for grooming techniques. Those are attack the eyebrows. They are. Those are tactical assault eyebrows right there. Those are so sharp they could cut him. He doesn't even need to move. There are Romulans accusing him of culture appropriation right now. I love it. That's a deep cut. That's yeah, a deep that's cut. a deep cut. Tom Hardy is jealous of those eyebrows. <laughs> he wishes he had them when he was around. Introducing the challenger <laughs> from Limbo. Zane, back out here Wing once again. Coming out to World Order. He didn't get pinned last week. Gaia was the one who got pinned by Gazan. And, uh, yeah. He wants to take that belt. He wants it back. He definitely wants it back. That ain't your belt. That's my belt. Earl's back in the crowd. No, no, that's Jimmy. Oh. Yeah. They look alike. I know. They're not twin brothers, but they are uh, Irish twin brothers. Uh, oh, gotcha. There is uh, 11 months between them. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm looking around the studio. The strange noise is going on in the studio There's a ghost. here. Speaking of strange noises, here comes Gazan. The champion, representing the madness from England, weighing in at 234 pounds. He has definitely been he shooting his shot ever since he uh, he decided to go on a, a quick side quest. And here. Again, I'm just like, queuing into a few things. I'm a little slow on the uptake, but why are all like our creepy characters from the United Kingdom? Anybody else noticing that? We've got yeah, Welsh. We've about. got, you know, this cat's from from England. He's he's wrestling out of England. He, originally from Puerto Rico. Oh, oh, right. My mistake. My mistake. He moved to uh, the UK. Right, because of the, the huge wrestling following in the UK. That's why they're all wrestling here. Yeah. <laughs> UK, the UK independent scene is huge. It's the UK. How huge can it be? I mean, uh, you, know. The, you know, great wrestlers have come out of there. Gazan. Name five. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you can and I can't. You won't be able to resist it there. <laughs> Haha. There's that beautiful belt. The constipated ref. But Daly's dying. Retsu, Zayn, Gazan kicking back, taking it easy. Might want to pay right. attention to the challenge. Will Ospreay, Zack Sabre Jr., William Regal, Fit Finley, and um, Pete Dunne. <laughs> I guess the classics. <laughs> to which most people are going to go, who? Anyways. Zane oh, yeah, taking control. I know who William Regal is. Yeah. Will Ospreay is a great current wrestler. Retsu drops Zane on his head. Stomps that shoulder. Oh, heck. Yeah. Uh, we're Zane. going. Uh, well, technically, if you're going to add in the islands in the area. What's that? I'm getting the message in. Corporate wants you to stop talking about other promotions. Okay, okay. <laughs> Becky Lynch from <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Find a thousand dollars? I don't even make that much. What's that? <laughs> Should have worked, we'll worked, okay. for... <laughs> worked for the Cheddar Corporate Board. What? Should have worked for the Cheddar Corporate Board. Yeah, that's what I told them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you don't even get paid that much. I got a car. It's only six hundred and fifty dollar car. It Does it? It gets me to the studio. Okay, fair enough. Retsu taking control of this match. Literally has Zane wrapped up. 
Kazan back in, breaks it up. <laughs> Retsu rolls him, goes for the pin. Doesn't I mean, he's right under the ropes anyway. Sleppy, sleppy. If Zane hadn't moved, that was, that was a Kazan coming down on top of him. Kazan evades Retsu only to get hooked up by Zane, dumped on his head. Retsu, oh. bad time to rest. Oh! Zane just taking it out on corner everyone. Corner to corner to corner. Ref almost caught some. Retsu rolls out. Rip cord. Oh. Lariat. Zane goes for the pin. Yeah. No. no. Not enough. Spins the arm. Locks it in. Zane punches his way out. Kazan. Retsu wraps him up. No! Zane. Oh! oh! Canadian Destroyer! Zane rolls out. Smacks his head into the post on the way by. He's just, you know, salt in the wound. Just to help wake him up a little. You know? Yeah. Retsu yeah. going wild inside the ring. Could we have a new champion in as many weeks? Shoots the leg. Kazan stops him. Tosses him. Tries to kick him. And uh, fails. Oh! Oh! Super kicked right into Zane's hands. He then eats a knee. See the champion. Retsu and him just going off on each other over here. Backbreaker. Do World Order at, at least being represented well by Zane here. Kazan tells him, no, no, no. Oh, running knee. What is, what is Kazan playing? Uh, well, I don't know, I, I don't know but he waited too long. That's who goes for the pin. Uh, his foot his, is clearly under the rope. Inconsistent with the rope calls tonight. Kazan rolls out. Spanish oh. fly. Picks him back up. Zane bleeding all over the place. He's going to pop the fizz. Pop! Oh. Over the ropes goes Will for the pin. Zane on his feet. Breaks it up. Just by sliding in the ring. Well, you know, you do it right. You interrupt things when you slide in smooth like that. All right, so a weird glitch there. I don't. I yeah. Felt like we were stunner. Oh my god! Oh my god! So <laughs> RKO! Oh my god! Tear! Go! One, two, three. What so the hell? Zane remembers what he was doing and just goes off and ends it. Had enough. Um, okay. Popped the fizz and goes buck wild. He nothing. He just he had a little weird little glitch there for a second and then come back and Zane, Zane just takes over. Pops the fizz on Retsu. Stuns Gazan. RKO's Retsu again. Puts him away. I don't know how he could see out all the blood pouring into his eyes. <laughs> That's what happens when you've got the power of do. Do world order once again. Zob Gaming Champion Zane takes the belt back. This guy, I'm telling you. There's nothing going to slow him down. Nothing's going to slow him down. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in this week. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell to get all the awesome notifications. Leave a comment down below. And remember to come back next week. We got four more round one matches in the One Shot at Glory oh. Oh. Tournament. Matsuda Lee taking on Warlord. Van Diver taking on Ali Jr. TV Kid taking on Maniac. And Yikes taking on Manny. 
find out who wins, you're going to have to tune in.